Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine. I have a seven card spread here for you. Y'all, this is an update on Barry Morphew. As y'all know, his he reported his wife missing on Mother's Day a year ago. And Sunday is going to be Mother's Day, so it's going to be a year. He was arrested yesterday for charges of murder and a couple other charges. <clears throat> and... So, obviously, they have evidence that, you know, he did do something to his wife. Um, I, a year ago, when this happened, I posted videos about it. In my videos, I did say that she expired, that she was no longer living. So, that came true. And I did say that the truth come out. If you haven't watched those, please go to the playlist and watch those videos because they are in there. Okay. Later, after I do this video, I'm going to try to contact her um, and channel her spirit and see what messages I can get from her. Okay, that will be my next video after this one. It probably won't be today, maybe tomorrow, but I am going to do that and see if I can get her to come and talk with me. Okay, so this video is not made for kids. If you're under the age of 18, please click off now. Remember, this channel is my brand. Do not attempt to copy it. Also, everything else is in the disclaimer box because we are talking about other people. And remember, this is alleged. I have to say that due to YouTube. Uh, this is news may or may not be out there. But this comes directly from my tarot cards, spirit guides, and my own psychic abilities. It does not reflect my own personal thoughts and feelings about these people because I don't know them. But I am going to tell you the information that comes to me from spirit and the cards, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit stopped up. Um, so, I asked, you know, what was going to happen to him now that he's been arrested, um, his thoughts, and what was the final outcome for him, you know, and just for the whole situation. So, as I was shuffling right away, the Ten of Swords fell out. This is a jail card, okay? The first and foremost, this is the jail card, and this is the end of a karmic cycle. So the end has come for him. The end of the way he's been living is no longer going to exist, meaning he's not going to be free in the world anymore, going to the gym, you know, doing doing his thing. That way of life is over for him. He's done, okay? Um, this is going to bring much, much depression for him because... You know, he wasn't expecting this. He he pretty much thought he got away with, you know, doing away with her. He thought he got away with it, and he didn't um, think that he would ever get arrested for it. But guess what? The police never gave up. You know, just because you don't hear nothing about the case doesn't mean they're not working on it, okay? Most of the time, police don't say anything because they don't want to give evidence away or, you know, things like that. But I already knew, you know, that they, they would catch him sooner or later, because of my first reading that I did on, on them when it first happened. Um, I do see later on the truth is coming out. I asked about where her body was. I feel like he burned it. This is what I'm getting from spirit. I, I feel like they haven't found a body because I feel like he burned it. He used to be a volunteer for the fire department. So he knows how to burn stuff. And I feel like he burned it. Okay, um, I feel like that body doesn't exist nowhere. And if, if they have, maybe if there was ashes or something, the police found that. But I, I kind of, now, I'm just telling you what I feel, y'all, what, what I'm getting from the cards. Okay, there's a possibility that the body might surface. But honestly, don't don't feel that. I kind of see a fire. I see a fire before me, and I see him burning it. And I feel like he did this way before Mother's Day, and then he was just waiting on Mother's Day to use that as an excuse for her disappearance, okay? So, that's what I'm getting at the moment, but you know, that could change, okay? I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, so, this is the Two of Pentacles. This, uh, this I feel like, is the police... Uh, going through turbulent times, making a decision, trying to decide what to do. Um, but it's in the reverse. So that means a decision had been made. So once they got all the evidence they needed, they basically made that decision to, um, you know, arrest him. 
Okay, um, that's all I'm going to say on that card because I want to get to this one. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is victory, okay? When it's an upright, this means victory. But if you see, there's a double-edged sword. So if you go the wrong way, make a mistake, in the, in the least, you will flip this card around and there will be no victory. So this is exactly what happened to him, you know, with his plan. He had all this planned out, y'all. And he, he, this was premeditated because he had this planned out for a long time, okay? He's been wanting to do this for a long time before, you know, he did it. So this was premeditated. It wasn't just on accident. It wasn't just a fight. Oh, we had a fight. I accidentally, you know, murdered her or whatever. This was premeditated. Okay. So he had the whole thing planned out for a long time. I would say months and months. Okay. But right here, there's no victory. So that means his plan failed. It didn't go right for him. He did not get away with it. And, you know, again, the truth is going to come out. Okay. So now here we have the king of wands in the reverse. This is literally him. Okay. When the, in the upright, the king, you know, is in a great position and he's got a lot of protection, but now it's in the reverse. So there's no protection for him. When the king is in the reverse, that means they're moody. They're swollen. And he's not going to say a word. He's keeping everything to himself. He did get an attorney right away, you know, because he knows he's in trouble now. Okay, so um, the attorneys have advised them to not say a word, keep quiet. And he's right now he's in his thoughts and his mind. You see how there's a lot of blue here that represents thoughts, deep thought. Okay, his mind is racing. He's like, oh my God, you know, what am I going to do now? I do feel like he will deny it to the end. He's going to fight it and deny it to the end. I don't feel like he'll tell the truth. Maybe years from now he might, but I don't feel like during the court, system that they're they're he's he'll gonna say he's innocent i feel like he's gonna say he's innocent the whole time i didn't do it I, it wasn't me you know things like that is what i see him thinking and swirling around in his mind thinking what am i gonna say what am i gonna do you know and he's gonna maintain his innocence he's gonna say he's innocent to the end okay so i asked what's gonna happen to him you know now he's been arrested what's gonna Come, so I got the death card. Okay, now this is going to mean many things in this reading. You know, the death card can mean many things, but I do see death. Okay, I see transformation and death and then the ending. So this, this card can mean death itself. This card can mean transformation, like leaving a bad place to a good place. Or this card can mean an ending. Okay, depends on what question you ask, what the situation is. And what position it falls in. That's why, you know, you got to have a good tarot card reader to interpret these cards. If, if if you're watching a tarot card reader that doesn't know the positions or, you know, the meanings of these cards, you're not going to get a true reading. Okay. So, but in this case, in the position it fell in, this means all three for him. Okay. I, I do see death coming for him because I, I kind of feel like he will take his own life once he's in prison. And I also see... Now, there's po two, three possibilities here, okay? I'm going to give you all three. I also see a death sentence for him. And then this is the end for him, okay? The end of the way he was living, just like this card here, means the same thing. It's come to an end, a close. The karmic cycle has come to a close. There won't be no more very morphine, okay? There won't be no more of him in existence, okay? So that means what? That means death, death penalty, or his life has just come to a complete end halt, a halt. Okay. Now, when it happens, y'all remember I said it here. Okay. So three possibilities for him, but most definitely the end of the way he was living, meaning he's no longer free. It's come to an end. The karmic cycle has closed of his life chapter. It's done. It's over with. Okay. So look what fell right next to it. The jail card. This is another jail card. The four of, sw of swords. So here he is in jail, laying in his bed, thinking, you know, wondering what, what next was going to happen. Well, there is no next for him. This is it. It's done. Okay. This, this video is going to have several parts, y'all, because there's more information that I need to tell you. But this is just the first one. This is going to be part one. Okay. So um, I feel like they're not going to give him a bond. Like there won't be no bond. There might be, but I kind of feel like no bond as of right now. Um, I feel like the attorneys are going to really, really plead for a bond. I, I, I do know he's supposed to go see the court tomorrow or the judge or something so they can 
set up bond or, or something like that is what I'm getting. But I feel like there won't be one. You know, there's a possibility it might be one, but it'll be really, really, really high. But I kind of feel like there's not going to be one. But I do see him laying in this jail, extremely, extremely depressed, praying. He's actually going to even be praying. You see how the man here has got his hands up praying? And then there's other people at, in the church actually praying. I feel like these are his daughters praying for him, looking at him, praying for him. Because these are women up here, okay? So basically, those are the only two people that are going to support him are his daughters. He doesn't have anyone else to support him. There's nobody that wants to support him, friends or family or anybody like that. The only people that will support him is his two daughters. You know, they're going to they're gonna also try to maintain his innocence. All right. But th this is literally him. This is much, much depression, too tired to go on. Cannot fight this battle anymore. That's what this card represents. You cannot fight the battle anymore. It's too much. Okay, so you're giving up. So literally, he's not going to give up mentally as far as saying he's innocent. He's going to keep saying that. Okay, y'all watch. He's going to keep saying that. Okay, but the police do have enough evidence to conclude that she was murdered. So what does that mean? Okay, that means maybe they found um, the ashes because they said they have not found the body. Okay. But again, I'm seeing a huge fire. I see a, a huge bonfire. I feel like he either tried to burn her or wanted to burn her or did burn her. Okay. So in the end, I asked what was the final outcome. So I got the justice card. So there's going to be fair justice for all. That's what this card represents. Fair justice for all. Okay. You see how the um, scales here are balanced. That means that, that they're going to, it's going to be fair for you know, what happens. So he will spend this time in jail. The judge that they have is very powerful judge and he's very passionate, you see, and he's going to bring in a new era for this. He's very well balanced because you see his feet, there's a little foot sticking out here that represents well balanced, okay? Um, he's holding up his sword, represents... Uh, he can cut you like a knife if he wants to, okay? That's why he's holding up the sword, but it represents his power. So whatever his decision is, he can cut you down to the quick, okay? And that's exactly what he's going to do to Barry Morphe. He's going to cut him down to the quick. So there'll be a lot of justice served for Suzanne Morphe, and there you go. All right, y'all, I'm, I'm going to end it here because there's a lot of more information I need to tell you about this but i want to this is just the basic of it this is part one i'm going to do a part two tomorrow where i contact her because i do want to know what she has to say about this whole thing and i do feel like she will come and speak to me when i channel her through the cards i'm going to channel her through the cards tomorrow that video will be up and i do want to hear what she has to say because i do feel like she has a great desire to speak now very great desire to speak and let's see what we get from her tomorrow. All right, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go watch those other videos if you haven't already. They're in my playlist about Susan Morphew and Barry Morphew. And you'll see how I predicted her death. She was already passed away. And how the truth was going to come out. And then here it is a year later. All right, y'all. If you want a person reading, contact me with an email down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Comment and uh, hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload another video. See you next time. Bye-bye.